we are going to be doing a hospital mask tutorial. My colleague Chris put together, and a fellow OT put together uh, instructions on how to make hospital masks. The ones that we are making are going to have a pocket inside of them so the hospital can put in a filter to bring them up to N95 status, which is what our um, nurses and doctors and providers need to protect themselves and protect their ki the kids that they are servicing um, in the hospital. And since we have a shortage, we're here to help out. We're at home, we got sewing machines, let's do this, okay? So first we're gonna go over um, materials that you're gonna need and precautions. Precautions are, we don't want any of the material coming from a house that has uh, smokers in it, that has anybody with respiratory illness or anybody that's tested positive for COVID-19. So those are our three main precautions. Now let's go through the materials. All right, so need. here are my tools I'm using. These are for the wire, for the nose um, piece, scissors, stuff to cut jar material, tape measure, some elastic, some pins. We're gonna need gardening wire. If you don't have that, you can use a twist tie. Um, we just need something to go across the bridge of the nose. We also are using 100% cotton um, squares that are cut by seven and a half by seven and a half inch squares. I am using cotton that's has different on different sides so you guys will be able to tell the right side from the wrong side as I'm doing this tutorial. Um, we're really looking for 100% cotton squares so um, trying to use quilting cotton or if you don't have that a uh, high thread count tea towel or high thread count um, sheets would be great. Surface. To start us off we're going to want to have a clean surface. We're going to want to be clean. We want clean hands working with this material and we want a material to be clean. So that's first. Let's clean. So the first instruction is place right sides together at the top, sew a quarter inch seam. We're gonna sew a quarter inch seam in about an inch and a half from each edge, okay? This is gonna be remain open for now because that's gonna be where our filter, our pocket for our filter. All right, so to get a quarter inch seam allowance, your needle's gonna go down right here and your presser foot is gonna be kind of your um, measurement for your quarter inch seam. And we're gonna stop with that needle right there. I'm a very novice sewer, so I sew very slowly. <laughs> Bear with me. Press that top seam open, nice and easy. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> Anybody else burning their fingers? I'm burning my fingers. All right. So next we're gonna top stitch this these um, seams down. So I'm using black thread, I hope you guys can see it pretty good. Um, I'm not sewing this closed, I'm just top stitching this seam and then I'm gonna top stitch that seam. All right, next step, we're going to fold the right sides together and we're gonna sew the bottom or the chin side. So this is the side with the packet that we just got done sewing. We're sewing now the bottom side or the chin side. Same quarter inch seam allowance. So next we wanna turn this right side out. So you just use that opening or you can go through the sides, it doesn't matter. I just want to flip it the right side out. <clears throat> and the instructions are, turn right side out and adjust the fabric so there's a half an inch above the gap and press. So this is the gap. So here's the gap. Here's that half an inch. Press it nice and flat. Let's go sew that. Sorry, it looks like I missed pressing the record button. So there you go, guys. It was just an eighth of an inch in, just a line right above the fold. Okay? All right, next we're going to take our five and, a half, five and a half inches of wire and our needle nose pliers and just give your wire a little curl at the ends. Crimp it down. 
So this little crimp down wire is going to get fed right into here. And this is why you really want to get that edge down because this little corner will catch everything. Okay, there we go. It'll be bumpy. All right, so first you take the right side out, you press in half, and you firmly press and crease at that halfway point. Okay, then we're going to take that crease Pinch the crease at each end with your fingers and fold it downwards towards the chin. Remember, our nose is up here where the wire is, so downwards towards the chin, about a half an inch. Okay. Firmly crease and press while folding down towards the chin. The pleats above and below the middle pleat, so this is our middle pleat, by pinching a, about a half an inch of fabric to make a parallel fold to the middle pleat. So I'm going to take below, grab a half an inch of plat fabric, and we're going to fold that under. So we're going to do it like we did the other one. So we're going to fold that under. So now we have this pleat. I'm going to re... I just keep ironing because I feel like that helps me get it better. <laughs> true but it helps all right so we got the first pleat now I'm gonna take this one and fold this one down that's the second pleat that was underneath okay and then the third pleat I'm gonna go above take that a half an inch above come on fingers don't fail me now there we go and she says, follow the pattern for direction. It doesn't have to be perfect, and it takes some practice. So don't get frustrated. I feel like I got pleats. Those are pleats there. All right. There we go. So next we're going to be sewing the, um, the edges to hold our pleats, in, pleats not our pleats. We're going to hold our pleats in place. Um, I just put pins in to kind of hold our pleats where they are for right now. We want another quarter inch seam allowance. And then we're just gonna go straight down the side here. And as we come to a needle, I'm just gonna pop it out. And then go really slow, because I do stuff so like this. So next I'm gonna bind the ends. You need about a one and a quarter inch strip. And you wanna have it about a little bit more than the length of the mask. Being real precise. Can you tell guys? Being real precise with my measurements now. All right, so I think this is what she meant and this is what I'm trying. So I'm gonna bind the edges. So I'm taking like about a inch and a quarter, inch and a half inch piece of strip. I'm gonna tuck that under, press it so it's got a good seam. Put that over, do the same thing on the other side. Then that's gonna wrap around the edge of the mask. Around, the easiest way I found is to stab this needle right through the rubber band before you get started with sewing it. So puncture that right through, press it down, and I'm using a um, zigzag stitch on it, but if you don't have a zigzag stitch option, you can just do a straight stitch. Just go over it a whole bunch of times because this is what's going to get pulled on the most. Hi guys, thanks for hanging with me. You know I'm not the best sewer in the world, but if I can do it, so can you. It's a lot of straight stitches and it's just taking your time. I think the easiest way to be to set up like a uh, assembly line thing. Um, the mask works. It goes on, there we are. If you want step-by-step -step instructions, um, I will also have a blog post that you can link to my profile to get to my blog post. Also, if you don't have supplies, I'm gonna put a link, if you click on my name right up here, I will put a link to supplies um, that you would need to make this, okay? Everybody have a wonderful night for germs. So. Thanks for coming along with me. Thank you so much for donating and making these. Um, our nurses and doctors and um, service providers really need them to keep your families 
and um, healthy and keep their families healthy. So thank you so much, you guys. Have a good night.